So at the garage, we build our own LED lights. Today, I want to share with you a quick test we did at the studio one day, trying to see if we could pull off this really, really cool thing. So a lot of people use robots for multi-pass lighting. So you could shoot different plates for different lighting scenarios and composite them together. So we wanted to do a cool video of this Dyson hairdryer. We got the probe lens on the robot and programmed a quick move. We set up four lighting scenarios. There's a background light, there's a light on the left, there's a light on the right, and there's a soft light overhead. So this example shows how we could do multi-pass in one pass. So this is basically shooting four different plates of lighting at the same time. So how do we do this? Let's start with a camera that could shoot 100 frames a second. And we're gonna try to get a video that's gonna play back at 25 frames a second. What we're doing here is basically every frame, the lighting alternates every four frames. So basically you get one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, all the way, all the way as you're shooting. And then when you're done shooting, we have a little script that pulls that all apart. And then you could basically you get four 25 frame timelines that you could layer on top of each other. And then you could pick and choose later when you want to bring in which light with masking. So basically we'll end up with a background where the product is just silhouetted, background with the left light, background with the right light, and background with the top light. So in this edit, I was able just to fade between those different takes and bring in, in and out different lights in post-production. Wait, 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 that's what, what? I could change my lighting in post-production? Yeah, that's really cool. And we shot it as one take. We didn't even have to do multi-pass lighting and run the robot four different times with the different lighting setups and then try to line those up and put them all together. Basically, we were able to shoot it all at once and then cut it up and layer it later in post in a pretty easy way. The really cool thing about this for us is we could do this with practical effects as well. Let's say something like a liquid pour or a person interacting with an object or somewhere where you can't necessarily repeat it over and over exactly the same way, so therefore layering doesn't work. Disclaimer. So far, we've only tested this technology in the studio. We haven't actually used it on a job yet, but we think the possibilities are really, really cool. 